G'day everyone. Uh, Saturday the 23rd of April, a couple of days before Anzac Day. Um, off to Bankstown and then from Bankstown up to Walgett, picking up a um, passenger in Bankstown, uh, an angel flight passenger, and taking him back home to Walgett. Uh, it's currently 11.40 and we're at 7,000 feet. Uh, Taz 152, um, 26.50 RPM, 33 litres an hour and Honda's DGT is 344, uh, 146 knots over the ground. A bit of a headwind today. Um, it's going to be an instrument approach into Bankstown. Uh, they've got um, some cloud at around about 3,500 feet. So I'm going to do the uh, RNP uh, 11 Centre approach from Bankstown Whiskey Bravo. Uh, so it'll be my current position to Acmere, then from Acmere to Wattle, W-A-T-L-E, and then from Wattle I'll be going direct to Whiskey Bravo and picking up the RNP approach from there. Um, that's about it. So I'll put the um, machine on as we're approaching or descending through cloud and getting ready for our um, approach. Ciao. I just sort of turn it on. Uh, this is uh, some cloud surfing. Uh, just skimming the tops. I love this part of IFR flying. Coming out of Canberra, we went through probably about three, 4,000 feet of cloud and then broke out to this beautiful sunshine on top. Wind 160 degrees. Now again, picking up the ATIS at Bankstown. Temporal information echo. Runway 11 left for arrivals and departures. Frequency 132 decimal 8. Well, we didn't get the um, RNP11 because of the uh, cloud base is about 3,000 apparently. Uh, so I'm just tracking uh, via Wattle, then um, uh, turning inbound and um, Proper descent at about uh, ten or well, five miles after Wattle, and then uh, when I break clear, I'll be uh, tracking direct to 2RN. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this approach. I'll be turning right in about 1.2 track miles. Bankstown Tower, good day, November Whiskey, Foxtrot, 2RN, 1500, inbound with Echo. November Whiskey, Foxtrot, Bankstown Tower, join final, runway 11 left, report work farm. Final 11 left, report work farm, November Whiskey, Foxtrot. Remember Whiskey Foxtrot, Warwick Farm. Remember Whiskey Foxtrot, runway left, clear to land. Runway left, clear to land, November Whiskey Foxtrot. X-ray Yankee early, crosswind, turn approved.
OK, pitch, undercarriage and flaps and fuel pump. X-ray Golf November, downwind touch and go. X-ray Golf November, change in sequence, follow the Robin turning back. Robin turning back, X-ray Golf November. Your X-ray Yankee runway right, clear to land. Right, right, Thanks, Sound Ground. Uh, good morning. November Whiskey Foxtrot off at Alpha 5, request taxi to Schofields. November Whiskey Foxtrot ground, taxi to Schofields. Taxi to Schofields, November Whiskey Foxtrot. Well, good day, everybody. Um, currently flying from Bankstown to. Um, Walgan. Walgan. Thanks for that. Do you know where you're going? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I uh, picked up my VOP, Peter, and we're heading back to uh, to Walgett. Going through some, um, we had went through some cloud earlier on. I didn't uh, tape the uh, departure, um, but it was a standard uh, Bankstown 8 departure. Had to climb by the Sydney 3000. Contact, sorry, contact the tower when I was passing 1500, and they put me across to Sydney departures uh, on 118 decimal four. And then I climbed uh, up to 8,000, and then uh, they gave me the um, gave me the tracking. Um, pretty easy, pretty easy departure out of uh, Bankstown, and the Bankstown 8 is a fairly straightforward sit, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, currently, we're doing um, what are we doing? Tas of 158 knots, ground speed of 160 knots, burning 34 litres an hour, hottest EGT 361 and 2650 on the RPM. Uh, we've used since. Um, Leaving Canberra, I've used 85 litres of gas and uh, we've got uh, 156 litres remaining, which is four and a half hours at this current fuel usage, but I will be topping off the tanks um, at um, Walgett. I always get, I don't know if there's some reason I get Walgett and um, uh, some other name mixed up, but anyway, I'll be fine. Righto, we're two, 10 miles from Coonabarabran, and I said 8,000 feet, so I'll put the uh, tape back on as we're approaching um, Walgett. See ya. Okay, so an uneventful uh, landing at Walgett. Um, well, if you don't count not being able to get out of the airport, uh, perimeter fence, un uneventful, then it was uneventful. Took us a while to work that one out. And uh, tip for young players with the refueling at Walgett. Uh, the first try, I'd only put in about 13 litres and stopped. And then uh, the second try, I just basically um, I just what's the word? Milked the uh, the fuel uh, controller uh, to get more fuel out of it, and it seemed to work. So I was able to fill up um, both tanks at, at Walgett. Uh, currently 9,000 feet, uh, just uh, north of Dubbo at. Um, 2650 RPM, 33 litres per hour, TAS of 157, ground speed 147, and we're est uh, estimating getting into Canberra at about uh, five minutes before last night. Um, well, how's it all doing? Uh, this is my favourite time of the day, just approaching dusk. And uh, we're going to get into Canberra about um, five minutes before last night. Um, which means I'll be refueling after dark, but I've got my trusty, hang on, where is it? Here it is, little head thing that I put on. It's a pretty cool little thing. It's got white light and red light as well. Um, it's a, been a, a really good day, actually. I've had to um, descend below some uh, build-ups, so I'm now at 5,000 feet visual, um, and there's no problem uh, staying visual at this altitude, if you can see out the front there. Um, currently, I'm just uh, near Can uh, Canoundra and uh, probably north of Cowra by about uh, 15 miles. Um, and uh, there's some rising train ahead, but uh, nothing close to um, uh, impinging on my uh, flight path. So 
So anyway, I'll put this thing back on as we're approaching Canberra and hopefully we'll get a good um, uh, dusk uh, landing into Canberra. Ciao. Fox Rock request taxi to GA. November Whiskey Fox Rock ground taxi to the GA. Taxi to GA, November Whiskey Fox Rock. There you go, folks. All safe and sound. Bye.